Nobody knows about the sex lives of other people, but Candace Bushnell was either making it up or writing about it and she calls this fiction. We all fell in love with it. Keep watching to find out what book I'm talking about today. Hey y'all, I am Kyla Denanyo and today we're talking all about business ownership, being a freelancer, and sex in the city. Yeah. <laughs> today we're talking about the book, Sex in the City. The author of the book is Candace Bushnell. The genre of the book is fiction. The theme of the book is literature, okay? I found out about this book years ago, okay? I went to the library and I picked up season five of Sex and the City and I started watching it. And then I started from the beginning and I'm blown away, all right? So I had to read the original because I rewatched Sex and the City multiple times a year. I think the character development is phenomenal. I go through different things and then I love different characters. One time I love Charlotte, next time I love Samantha. All the time I love Miranda. All the time. So I pick up the book and I read it. It's very good. For one, I listen to the audiobook and Cynthia Nixon, the actress who plays Miranda, is narrating the book. And so it's really funny to hear Miranda's voice the whole time. But this book is just like the show. And by just like the show, I mean, there are actual sentences lifted directly out of the book and put into the show, right? A lot of the small quips that Stanford says are from the book, um, especially seasons one and two. Very, very heavy on picking up dialogue directly from the book and putting it into the show. And then this is 2024 when I'm recording, so I'm, I'm okay to tell you that I've already watched the spinoff and just like that, and you get to still see subject lines from this book this book will always be relevant because this is the original okay so my favorite thing from this book favorite thing is all of the friendships that carrie has unlike the show the book revolves around carrie and then just everyone she knows right it's not always her and charlotte and her and miranda and her and samantha or the four of them and i see why they would have grabbed uh, why they would have gravitated to having four women let them be different with profession different with looks different with love interests but in the sh book it's literally just Carrie talking to absolutely everybody right and so you get to see a little bit more of Carrie's interactions with Skipper you get to see a little bit more of you just get to see like more of a broader depth of the city like this really could have just been called Carrie in the city because it's Carrie and then all of her experiences within the city, her friendships, her dating, her love, all of that. So I loved it. I loved it. And I love how reading the book after watching the show multiple times, I don't know if Candace Bushnell was involved with the creation of the book. I know on the show, it always says based on the novel by Candace Bushnell, but it was great right and to imagine that your book from 96 would spark this show from 1999 which would turn into six and a half seasons and then 20 years later another spinoff because we missed the characters it's fun to be able to pick up the book and read the book and be like i could see why it was such a craze right in the 90s i was still a child i was in middle school so i have no idea what any of this is like i had never been to new york so to even see new york from those eyes is completely different because i know it from the show but even to take you back to the beginning my introduction to the characters was when they were in a wildly different place so i hope this has inspired you to go and pick up the book there are so many incredible shows that are based on books and sex in the city is definitely one of them all right and so would i reread this absolutely yes absolutely um i even love that it's a cute little like paperback i can see people sitting on the subway reading this or throwing it in their purse when they're headed somewhere in new york you know um i'm sure everybody was like obsessed with it because nobody knows about the sex lives of other people but candace bushnell was either making it up or writing about it and she calls this fiction and we all fell in love with it, all right? So if you enjoyed this review, you will love this review here about the book called We Should All Be Mirandas, all right? See you in the next one.